Okay, this is a very quick run through on how to um, <clears throat> rotate wheels automatically on a vehicle. So um, with this particular little vehicle I've created, it has a main car control. Here it is here. It's just a ring, a NURB circle that I can move the car. Now look what happens to the wheels. As I just move the vehicle, the wheels rotate automatically. Okay, and I've got one smaller wheel, <clears throat> one larger wheel, so you're going to have to, for the difference in diameter, <clears throat> the smaller one's naturally going to rotate faster than a larger one. Okay, so you can see that there too. Notice that. So how do I do that? Well, you can see my setup here. Um, everything is um, <clears throat> basically parented inside the car control. The actual car here, I've grouped all the little bits and pieces, like the wheels. This is the left front wheel, left rear wheel, right front and right rear wheel. Um, <clears throat> you need to name them properly, like, well, not exactly like this, but at least name them left front, left rear, etc. And I'll put the car body and car for the top group. Okay, so with that, select, say, your left front wheel. And if you come over to the, well, the rotate is important. Understand which way it rotates. In my case, it was the rotate X. So if you select X, rotate X in your channel box, then come up to edit. And the very first one, expressions, we're going to write a very simple expression. So with that selected, now <clears throat> I've already got the expression here, but you won't see anything here. So give your expression a name. I call mine wheel rotates and it's got the object selected and it's going to rotate in the X. If it doesn't have the X there, just click the rotate, uh, where is it, X, pop, 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 there, see, rotate X. And then if you wish, you come down here, select the selected object attribute, hit Control C on your um, keyboard to copy this name and then come down and do exactly what I've done here. I've just pasted it in. Yours will be blank, but basically you want to type, paste that, and then you want to go equals, and then here is my car control. It needs to be exactly the same. So mine's car underscore control, just like that. Okay, it is case sensitive. And then I put dot translate. Whoops, better undo that dot translate z now okay so that's when my vehicle when i select this control the car control and i move it in the z direction okay it'll rotate the wheel now i've also put in here multiply which is a star number eight so if you hold shift star um or shift eight <clears throat> that's your star command which means multiply, and then I put 40, right? Because it's a smaller wheel, it's got to rotate more. Now yours will probably be slightly different depending on the scale of your wheels. So you need to play around with that a bit. You might not even have to put multiply at all. Just leave it blank, but make sure you put the comma at the end like that. And then you'll copy that one, paste it three more times and change this name to um, like left front to left rear, right front to right rear. And then you'll hit create. It's probably create first. Okay, and then close it. Watch what I'll change my rear wheel so it spins faster. Um, rear, left rear. I'll change that to say, let's go something ridiculous, 100. I'll go edit. Now let's see what happens. Select the control. I'll move it in the Z. Now it's moving much quicker. See that? Okay, so that's working purely by that. Okay, thanks for watching.